local radio salesman actually camped out on top of the Astrodome wearing a kilt as part of a radio promotion. Yeah, those were the good old days, right? Yeah, I when guess you would so. just do something I like that. I don't think that could be done today. <laughs> of you who remember it was quite the bizarre sight and as eyewitness news reporter Pooja Lodia shows us the legendary Astro Man says he would do it all over again for his team. It was 1980. The Astros were hot and the hairstyles were even hotter. Our boys dressed in those iconic rainbow uniforms were taking on the Phillies in a quest to get to the World Series. They still call me Astro Man. I still get a lot of calls today. Uh, especially now that uh, the Astros are in the World Series. Denver Griffith was just 25 years old at the time, a brand new salesman at a local radio station. Basically, uh, he wanted someone to go up on top of the Astrodome and sit up on top of the Astrodome until the Astros either won or lost the pennant. <laughs> and I drew the short straw at the station. And at the last minute, I was told that I was going to have to wear a, a kilt instead. <laughs> So for 10 days, Griffith lived on top of the Astrodome. Back in those days, not everybody had a smartphone. So here's the only photo he has. I would lower a basket on a rope 18 stories down, and they would put the food in a basket, and then I'd have to haul it all the way back up. The Astros no longer play in the dome. And Griffith is no longer the youngest salesman in town, but his enthusiasm hasn't changed. They're all asking, you know, if Astro Man is going to be pulling for the Astros in the World Series this year, and you, you bet it. So here's the question, would you do it again? Well, absolutely. I think I, what I need to do is get my agent to get in touch with Minute Maid.